all right what's going on guys it is your boy havoc here welcome to yet another tutorial on the channel today i will be showing you guys how to make a professional youtube logo for free without photoshop using a program known as paint.net now this video does help you out a like will be very much appreciated also be sure to subscribe for future tutorials and just various videos on the channel and also be sure to leave a comment down below let me know what tutorials you would like me to do in the future and with that being said let's get straight into the tutorial all right so the first thing that i want you guys to do is click on the first link in the description and that will take you to this page right here and i'll just go ahead and put it up on the screen uh, if you want to go ahead and skip up to the tutorial but i just want to quickly go over how to download this because it might be a little confusing so go to this page and scroll down to this download now button don't click on any of this other stuff because it might not be safe to click on we we'll click on download now that will take you to this page right here and then click on the free download now right here all right so once that is finished i'm going to show in folder drag it out to my desktop close that up right click extract here and you'll need the program winrar if you don't have that just go go ahead and google it and go ahead and install that WinRAR and you'll be able to extract it. So extract here, that will show up this thing right here. Double click it, click yes. All right, to start out making this logo, I'm going to just quickly give you a little tip uh, to zoom in zoom out because it's a little different than other programs uh, you're going to want to hold on the control button and then click on the plus to zoom in and click on the minus to zoom out um, but to start out you're going to want to click on new layer right here click on this font button right here and we're going to make this font 350 size and we're going to make the font against and you can find this font uh, at defont.com. I will leave the link down below. It'll be the second link in the description. And that just quickly install it. And I'm going to go ahead and put an F right here. You can do whatever you want. So like if your channel name starts with H or T, just do whatever, whatever font you want to do or letter you want to do. Just go ahead and center that up. That looks pretty center right there. Now I want to give you a couple of, uh, of tips for effects so with the effects you can make your fonts look so much better so with this one i'm going to click on art artistic and click on oil painting and we're going to do an oil painting of i'm going to do it all the way up there and maybe about four or five i don't know it's really up to your preference you can do whatever you want to but this just makes it look more artistic. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna click on escape to get out of that layer. All right, so the next thing that I want you guys to do is go to Google, and I want you to Google in polygon texture. This basically will give you some pretty cool effects for your, for your logo design. So just pick whatever one you want. Now, I want to also say don't choose something because of the color because you can always change that and I'll show you how to change that. So once you install that onto your desktop, go to layers, import from file, and then I have both of the JPEG files right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up. And as a helpful tip, changing the scale up, you wanna cl click on this corner right here and make sure you hold on the shift button if you don't hit the sh if you don't hold on the shift button it might change the proportions of the original picture so be, sh be sure to click on and hold on to that shift button so we're going to move it eh, i would say about about to there and then click on the escape button all right so the next thing that you're going to want to do after that is move this polygon texture below the text layer so that the text is popping above this texture and so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the magic wand button right here and make sure you're on the text layer right here and just go ahead and click off of the text if that makes sense make sure you're not clicking the text move back to the polygon texture i know it's a little confusing and then click delete so i know it doesn't really look like we did much of anything but trust me we did so just move this layer above the other layer so that that kind of shows up and i know it's not the best quality 
So whenever you have kind of a blurry object, um, it does wonders to go to effects, artistic, and do oil painting. And we're going to make this oil painting uh, before I think it was at four. So we're going to make it at six this time. And you can really change the coarseness. So like if you want it to look like that or this, it's really up to your preference. Click OK. And also like I was explaining before, let's say you don't want blue. Let's say you want a different color. So make sure you're on this layer. Go to, let's see, adjustments. And then you can go to hue slash saturation. And you can change kind of the saturation. So if you want it more blue or kind of black and white, then you can always do that. Um, if you want to change it, change colors, just go to hue and you can basically change it like, let's say you want yellow or orange. Um, you can basically change a lot of the different colors. So I'm going to make this one kind of red. So I'm going to change the saturation kind of like this. And I think that looks about right, right there. And you can also add a couple more effects. So if you want more contrast, it makes it look a little different if you have more contrast. Um, like I said, it's up to your preference, uh, really what, what you kind of want. Um, but I'm going to cancel that. I think it looks better like this. All right, so once you have that all figured out, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move this layer just a tiny bit up, just to give the illusion that this text is 3D. Like before it was like this, and me personally, I don't think that looks that good. It does not look anywhere near as good if you move this layer just a tiny bit up, just to give the illusion that this, this text is 3D. So after you have that, after you figure that out, and you can also put the shadow on that side, or you can move this text down here to make the shadow above. Um, just make sure it looks good before you set it down. Press escape. So now that we have the text all figured out, uh, I want to go ahead and focus on the background. So like I said before, <laughs> go back to polygon texture. And like I said, with, with a couple more effects that, that I'm gonna teach you guys, you can make the background look even better than than really any other tutorial that I've seen out there. So just click on whatever whatever polygon texture that you want. I'm going to click on this one. And once you have that installed, go to Layers, Import from File. And I have it right here. Make sure you hold Shift as you're getting it a little bigger. And make sure it's just about the right size right there. Obviously, we're going to move this below the two text layers, so it's right there. And yes, it doesn't look the best right now. I will agree. It does not look the best. But after you do a couple of these effects, it will look fantastic. So go to Effects. We're going to do Artistic Oil Painting as well, just like we did before, except we're going to make the brush uh, what looks best. I think this looks best all the way up. And once we do that, that looks a little better, right? We're going to add a couple more effects. So blurs, we're going to add motion blur. And this will make it look fantastic. Trust me. So if we add just a couple of motion blurs, just, I would say, maybe about 130 right here. I'm going to make it about 130. That looks a lot better. I don't know about you guys, but that looks a lot better. So we're also going to go to effects go to distort and go to crystallize we're gonna add this because it makes it look a lot better to me uh, up the quality all the way up to five and make the cells I would say about right about below probably 10 you want you don't want to do it too big but below 10 I think looks pretty well right there to me it looks good already but to make it look even better what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the paintbrush tool right here and we're gonna make the paintbrush, we're gonna make it about 900. So it's gonna be pretty big, right? Yeah, and then we're gonna put the hardness down to zero and we're gonna make sure it's on white. So move this arrow right here so it's on white. And wherever your shadow is, you're gonna to want to put a white light on the opposite side. So we're gonna have a white light right there. So now that we have the light source right here, you're gonna to want to go back to, to where it's black right here. 
and we're going to make a black paintbrush tool right here so that it's dark right here and light on that side right so after we have that right there i'm going to go ahead and add just a couple more of these so i'm going to have it pretty much right about there to do another black one and then i'll add another white one right about here and probably also right about here and then i'll add another dark one down about here All right, so once you figured out like this is the set logo that you want, go ahead and click on file, save as, and save it as a PNG or a JPEG, uh, whatever you really prefer. I'm gonna save it as a JPEG and let's just save it as logo. Save it on the desktop, click save. Make the quality all the way to 100 and then click okay and then make sure you flatten it and then it'll be all saved up as you can see once it saves it and after you click on flatten it'll flatten all the layers down so like let's say you want or you decide to maybe make a couple changes uh, and you can't do that so what you can do is go to undo and that will bring up all the layers that you had before so just as a helpful tip if you want to do a little bit more editing um, after you save it like if you have something that you want to fix real quick all right so now that you have your font all figured out you have it all done um, so basically to put it on your YouTube channel you click on this pencil icon on your page click edit and since I already uploaded it it's right here but you're gonna want to upload the photo and then it'll be right here on your desktop it should be click open make sure it's all centered up click done and then make sure you click on this pin icon again and click OK. In case you want to change your name as well, but I mean, you don't really need to, but I, I think that kind of secures it. But even though you'll, you'll go back to your YouTube page, you might refresh it and it won't change. It takes some time, um, but it'll change eventually. Just be patient. Um, but yeah, that's basically all you really have to do. Um, and yeah, I hope this tutorial did help you guys out. And I will see you guys in future uploads and future tutorials. It's been your boy Havoc here, and I'm out. Peace.